We are on a race against the clock. So tired, I could die. No, this is horrible news. There is this guy. He's like following. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We need to find somewhere to sleep ASAP. I I see it around the corner. I think it's like a uh, night at the museum, but it's like night at the airport. We're recording now. My name's Joe. And I'm Sarah. And we are going to be spending the entire night in this hotel. I keep saying hotel. All right, so currently it is 11.10. That means we have approximately nine hours until our flight leaves tomorrow morning. It does feel really weird. We're also doing a list of challenges that we have to complete by our flight in the morning. Our first challenge is going to be finding a snack in the airport. All the restrooms are closed, so I guess we'll see what we find, huh? Immediately, I do see something that looks like a vending machine uh, in the front, so this might be a water. short challenge. Actually, it's not. I don't think it is. Oh, so it is <laughs> souvenir. What the heck? Oh. They do have honey in there. Oh, yeah, they have pig and Ohio. And spices. If you want some spices, we can do that. Oh, the bathroom's open. I left my notebook in the bathroom, so I need to go check and see if that's in there. Okay, we have another, what I thought was a vending machine. It's actually a vending machine, but for headphones. I'm not going to be eating any of this. Let's keep looking. My notebook is not in the bathroom. My notebook has been lost in the bathroom. My notebook is not in the bathroom. Oh, it has been most likely thrown away. I'm very sad. That's so sad. Um, as you can see, they got stores here, like a candy store, Natalie's candy jar, but they are obviously closed because like nobody's in this airport since it's 1230 in the morning. There's a couple people that are like getting off random late planes, but aside from that, it's just us and the custodial crew, which is very fun. Uh, it's like a uh, night at the museum, but it's like night at the airport. All right, let's 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 walk this way. I do see something that looks like a vending machine in the distance. So we are in the Cincinnati airport. We went on a trip to uh, Chicago for Summer Smash. And then we took a road trip through Kentucky and Ohio. I'm, I am I see it around the corner. I think, <laughs> I think we might have completed the first challenge oh, because it looks like we have found a vending machine. It looks like it's two drink machines and one snack machine. So we got Coke products on one side as well as Fairlife milk, which we do not support because of their bad um, animal practices. We got chips, cookies, candy, gum. Uh, and then on the other side, we have Pepsi products, but it looks like they also have orange juice, um, coffee, Yoohoo. What do you want? So I definitely am going to start off with the snack first because I think the snack dictates what the drink is. So for me, they only have Oh, no. Okay. Okay. I was about to say they have brown sugar cinnamon pop tarts, which are literally my least favorite kind of pop tart. And I thought that was the only kind they had, but they also have strawberry. Not going to lie. I was actually craving a strawberry pop tart yesterday. So it's like between that Oreos, classic cookies with Hershey's chocolate chip. That actually doesn't sound too bad. I might. I'm feeling very sweet right now. You know, one of us, uh, it accepts coins, dollars, it accept card. I mean, it's got to, right? I guess I got to make the decision here. <sighs> I think I gotta go with the pop tart. I think honestly, I was just craving it, and I'm gonna do it. Okay, let's see how much it costs. Two dollars and fifty cents. Kind of a rip off. Oh yeah, I have three ones. Let me let me do this real quick. <laughs> Motherfucker, don't do this to me. One. Six zero three six zero three. Come on. Yes. I thought with my luck that I was gonna get caught in the machine. Look. <laughs> okay, even though I don't support them, there's one thing that I drink with Pop Tarts, and Sarah already knows what this is. What is it, Sarah? Milk. Yeah, you got it right. I I exclusively drink white milk with my Pop Tarts, and I'm not gonna deviate today. I'm sorry, I gotta support <laughs> The devil, but I need that tasty lactation. <sighs> Challenge one for me is complete. I got strawberry pop tarts and Fairlife white milk. Now <laughs> let's see what Sarah wants for her midnight snack. <laughs> Are you reporting? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with a drink. I'm feeling pretty tired this early morning so i'm gonna go with a starbucks frappuccino um card <laughs> you just sharded <laughs> what 
What did you, you say? You just showed my card number to everyone at home on the video. Oh. Are we seeing this? Are what? we fucking seeing this? Oh, thank oh. God. See, unlike Joe, I really actually like the brunchers, but I don't think I'm feeling that. Honestly, I think maybe some chips. Let's go Fritos. The flavor twist. You really can't go wrong with those, I feel. Um. Oh, um, card. <laughs> what? Wait, you see what it says? No, what's it say? Cards offline, meaning you can't use a card. It's offline. R Wait, right how on. did you? I use cash for that machine. No. <laughs> no, this is horrible news. You know what this means, though? We have to go look for another Only machine. Only one half of this challenge is is complete. We have to go look for another one. I feel like tonight I'm going to get, like, delirious and... What the hell? We, we, we have our stuff on that side. Oh. I thought our stuff was at this one. I was literally about we to say... We should have our stuff at this side, though. We just left. Okay, there is this guy who's like vacuuming the carpets and he's like following us. He just turned off the machine. This got so quiet. Okay, let's go. Let's go. The entire night, like, there's been this guy who's been vacuuming the carpets in the hotel. And like, it's like everywhere we've gone, he's gone like behind us. And so like, we've just been like trying to avoid him and like running into him all night. And we went to go like move our stuff because he was vacuuming where it was sitting. He like immediately left. We like started at one gate and he was like vacuuming around there. So we went to another gate and then he started vacuuming that gate. And it's just like, he's been like, it feels like he's been following us all night. I know he's probably just doing his job, but like, Every, it feels like everywhere, every time we move, he's like vacuums there, like right after. Okay, it's currently one o'clock. Um, apparently a plane just got in and they just like debarked. So we're waiting for everyone to clear through the airport before we continue our search for the snacks. To add to the list of things that have been going right tonight, uh, our camera battery uh, was getting low and I went to go look for it so I could charge it up and like look for my alternatives. Turns out that I left them in my uh, at my friend's house in Kentucky uh, that I was filming with. So now we have one battery left that has very little life. So we're gonna be on a race against time to find Sarah's snack, get back here, so that way we can try and get it filmed before the camera dies. So let's go. Let's go. I'm I see hungry. something that looks like a vending machine. Let's go see. What is that? Subway up. grab and go? It looks like a oh, subway boy. machine. What is this? <laughs> um, I kind of am dumb. Okay, which one do you want? Perhaps the cold cut combo. Okay. All right, the cold cut combo you want sub. It? Um, no, I'm good for right now. Well, now's your chance. What's it, 20? Okay, I'll add another one. Hey, Rakurd, please try again, bro. Oh, what is no. happening? One moment, authorizing, card approved. Let's go. God. All right, let's get our sandwiches. What? What? Shit. Oh, okay, vending in progress. Oh, All right. Yeah. Thank God. Hell yeah. All right, we got the cold Ooh. cut combo sub. Shit, I don't want milk with a fucking... Yeah, update, our camera died, uh, as well as the mics that we were using, uh, those died with the camera because they were specifically for the camera. So things just keep getting better in this struggle to complete these challenges, but we will not be dissuaded. <laughs> you look like a Ghostbuster and you got like your... So the next challenge is film a TikTok. So we just got done filming the TikTok. Um, I'm pretty tired. I'm definitely hitting a wall. 
Uh, but we still have a couple more challenges to go before our flight in the morning. So we're going to try and see how many of them we can get done before I completely fall asleep in one of these chairs. So challenge number three is finding a souvenir to bring home with us. So let's go see if we can find one. $20 for the pay? Yeah. Ooh. But only $5 for the Cincinnati sticker sheet, which Ooh. would definitely count as a souvenir. They have the Skyline Coney. Please select the product. <laughs> Authorizing. Oh, what we're going to try and do is room the halls and see if we can find a place to sleep. They're supposed to have sleep lounges in the airport for anyone who's sleeping overnight, but we haven't seen one yet. So I don't know if they're in this concourse or maybe if they're somewhere else in the airport. Kids, oh, I thought that it said kids lounge. It says kids landing, but it's basically a lounge for kids. <laughs> okay, so we are at the point in the night where officially nobody else is in here. Um, there may be like some security people behind the scenes or something, but uh, aside from that, like every custodial worker has gone home. We haven't seen a plane like drop off or unload for the past like half hour. And we have not seen like anybody else in here uh, for like the last 15 minutes. So I, I think we are at this point completely alone in here. Okay, so we're currently looking right now. I mean, we're still looking for uh, a place to sleep just because we don't want to sleep in the chairs, you know, because people will come up in the morning and like, we'll wake up and stuff, but we are really tired and we are like ready to crash. And so we need to find somewhere to sleep ASAP or else, you know, we might just like fall asleep in one of these seats. Well, we walked uh, all the way to the end of the airport. Uh, even though I read online, they were supposed to have lounges and couches and stuff. Uh, there have been none that we have seen. So I guess we're going to head back to where our stuff is and if we don't see any better options before then, I guess we'll just have to sleep on the seats. Home sweet home for the night. <laughs> okay, so our uh, fourth task, I think it was, uh, finding a good place to sleep. We semi failed on that because we really just couldn't find anywhere better than just the seats at a uh, gate with no one at it. My back's really not going to like this, but, uh, you know, we're just exhausted and yeah, we are just like dead tired and want to get at least like a couple hours of sleep tonight. So in terms of this trip, uh, we had a really great time. We went from, you know, Chicago for Summer Smash 2023. That was awesome. Got to see a lot of my favorite artists and spend a full day in Chicago, you know, trying deep dish pizza and Chicago style hot dogs and famous cheeseburgers, historical landmarks. Uh, went through downtown, the Magnificent Mile, did a whole lot of stuff in Chicago, really loved it. Uh, got to drive down to Pikeville, uh, my hometown, uh, film a couple videos with my best friend, Dan's Decline, uh, filmed a couple, you know, podcasts for our uh, Steady Decline podcast channel. Um, so that was really fun uh, before ending it off in Ohio to see Sarah's family, Sarah's sister. Um, that was really awesome. Got to try Skyline Chili, which was definitely uh, tastier than I expected, actually. Um, so yeah, overall, it was a really great trip, uh, at least for me. Uh, <laughs> Sarah, what did, how did you feel the trip went? Exhausting, but rewarding. I think we both really learned a lot, and uh, these memories will last a lifetime, for sure. Couldn't agree more. All right, so we've still got one last objective in this video, and that is to 
catch our flight tomorrow and go home back to Austin, Texas. So I will see you guys in the morning uh, so that way we can catch our flight. Here's our sleep setup for the night. We got Joe and one of the gate chairs. And I chose to take the floor, pull out some shirts from my suitcase to make a pillow. Oh. <laughs>